Hello everyone, it's Helen and Vicky here and we have a papercraft challenge for you guys. So hi Vicky. Hello. Hello, Hello. how are you doing today? I'm okay, thank you. That's good. It's raining here now, so I don't know whether it's on your way. On the way uh, up it's dry at the minute. Okay, so, okay <laughs> so today we have a paper bag album to make between us. So we've been doing some prep work here already. As you can see, we've made a mess on our desk. But I think we have nice neat piles at the same time. It's one of those like messy, neat piles. So if you are here, give us a comment and let us know that you are here. I'll bring up the chat now. Oh, hi, Gemma. Um, I don't know your name under a pile of papers. So you have a lovely black cat there, though. I can see there in your profile picture. Hi, Tony. Hi, Karen. Hi, guys. I hope <laughs> I hope you really enjoy this show. We're just going to let people in and um, just say hi to everyone and then we're going to jump straight in. So we will we'll be using the new disc bound um, album system for our albums as well. And we'll be mixing them with these paper bags. I've got some really big paper bags here. So um, right, I'm just going to test everything just to see that we're streaming in places. We I can are. see we're on YouTube. We are. And yeah. hi, Monica. Hi Monica. Hi Gemma. I can see everyone's comments on YouTube now, so ah, okay, as excellent. well as Facebook, so that's good. Yep, and hi Julie as well. Hi Helen. Hi Karen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so shall we jump in? I'm going to keep the screens as they are. If I zoom in, we're going to lose a little bit on each end, but if we need to look at something closer, I can just quickly do that. So to quickly zoom in, but so we'll keep the um the screens just like that. Ah, so Monica's working from home today, so she can watch it too. That's excellent. Oh, what you're making, Monica? Oh yes. Be really interesting to see what you guys are up to. Hi, Teresa. Is anyone going to craft along with us? That's the question. That is the question. Okay, mm. should we get started now? Yes. We just got our hands with nothing to do. So. <laughs> Let's let's talk through what Vicky's doing first. If you want to have a quick overview of what we're about to do with you. Okay, so I have these small paper bags here, and I actually got these from the range, their art studio, and I just love the different colours of them. And I'm going to be using the small album die set, the album disc binding die set, and also the disc bound album album cover die set to make that and I'm also using bohemian uh, I've lost the paper bag paper bag the bohemian days paper pack there we go as well as Helen's lovely journal cards oh, yes. and ephemera <laughs> yes, I'll be playing with those today as well I just I just love all of those um pastel colors on your I know they're gorgeous aren't they they kind of go really nicely with this paper here. Yes. <laughs> Almost like an Eastery theme. It is. <laughs> I'm having mine in landscape. Are you having yours uh, portrait? Uh, my, yes, mine are. Oh, mine there are we go. Up. I will be trimming the bags down. These are the bags that I'm using here. I just got them from Amazon. So what I'm showing you here, you can, and I, basically what Vicky's showing you as well, you can use with any size paper bag so you can. Um, do that but I'll be trimming off trimming off the top here just to get rid of the handles and that creates a pocket for my pages so I've made an insert here so we'll be making these today just covered these up um, I haven't completely finished this album with my prep so I got as far as I could and <laughs> uh, so I've got five signatures already made ready to go and I'll be showing you how to get this front pocket as well using this bit of the gusset here, the, the base at the bottom. I'll be showing you how to make the pocket and slide your paper in. I've got a fabric, uh, paper fabric cover. So I'll be adding my little- Oh, you're using fabric one, are you? I am, nice. Oh, nice. I don't know if I'll have time to decorate the front cover, but uh, I'll have a book at the end of the live. <laughs> yeah, that's the aim of the game, isn't it? Um, have you got the bigger disc there then? Yeah, I'm just going to get a measurement. Uh, okay. It's been in my stash for a very long time, so I have no idea where I got them from. But these measure three and a half centimetres. So I guess that's 35 millimetres. That will be the measurement. I'm 
I might have to go bigger. It's turning out to be a bit of a chunky monkey, as I'm adding to it. So, <laughs> um, and the papers I'm using today are from the moving pages. So these are really nice and summary. It's even got cutouts as well. So it's got loads of things. You've got the Polaroid and you've got a pocket here. So there's, there is there are two you can choose from us see if I can grab the other one it's got the yellow background here we go that's really bright and lovely so so Gemma is working on her mater surprise samples Ooh, not long ago. Uh, and where well, let's look at Facebook Helen is stamping flowers onto vellum then going to be inking them Ooh, nice Sounds good. Yeah. Can't wait to see samples, Gemma. I'm just looking through the comments now. So, yeah, this is what Helen is doing. There she is, stamping flowers onto the vellum. I'm liking this new system I've got. I here. know. Let's highlight the comments. Okay, I better get started crafting. I think you're, you're, you're moving ahead of me. So <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you up to right now? Okay, so I've cut my covers out of this die, out of the small album die set. And I've cut it out four times. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> let me just show you here. So it would look like this when you've cut it out. And you're going to keep one like this. And then the other one, you're going to cut off the smaller tab here and just leave that large one on and then we can glue that together if my fingers and hands will stop shaking um, and then it will leave that open in there to add to our spine yeah that's right isn't it spine <laughs> i think <laughs> so, so then is that a base page then you're making so that's the front cover and then that's the back cover okay of oh, our album okay. yes so then the uh where's my so this bit here that the discs goes in will attach in there ah uh, yeah like oh, that's so. really nice it's really pretty yeah. to have out on the edge so that's what i'm doing at the moment hopefully that made sense Okay, I just want to answer Gemma's question. She's asking what system I'm using. I'm using Restream. I'm going to test it. I paid for a year's subscription. I'm going to test it out for a year and then uh, see where we go. But so far, we've been all right with it, Vicky, haven't we? We've had yes. A few, we've had a few practices and a few, oh, this is how you do things. So, yeah. Julie's making, Julie's making a 13th birthday card. Oh, Karen is watching closely, eating yummy stroop waffles. I've not heard of that before. <laughs> what's I've heard of waffles, but not what's stroop waffles? I think it's some um, uh, like a European. You have to tell us, Karen. <laughs> is is that what you put on top of the um? What is it? You put it on top of your mug, and it heats it up. I'm not sure. I can't remember what those ones are called. I don't you know. know. You, it's like a little waffly, wafery, biscuity thing. And you put it on top of your mug and um, your hot chocolate or your, your tea kind of heats it up a little bit. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm going to be making my cover. Um, I've literally just got the fabric paper there, so it's... It's craft on one side, so I'm using the blue version. And that's cut to the size of my paper bag, which we'll be getting to in a moment when I cut my bags down. Um, I just need to trim off this. So I'm, I'm keeping my tab thing on the right tab. hand side. Tab, tab thing. thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to cut, cut the top off there to that height. So make sure you don't cut the bottom off at all because what we want is um everything lined up so it has to be cut in the same place on every on every one otherwise you'll have a, mi a misalignment so let's grab my paper trimmer and uh, let's get a measurement first so i need to cut that to seven and three quarters 
from the top. Uh, which paper trimmer shall I use? How many paper trimmers have you got, Vicky? Too many. Uh, <laughs> I've got uh, Stampin' Ups. Uh, I've got x -Cut. <laughs> I've got quite a few, actually. And I only end up using one. Oh, which one do you use all the time, then? The Creative Craft one. <laughs> uh, the one I'm using right here. Yes. And the Guillotine as well, the small one. Oh, yeah. There we go, seven and three quarters. And I have another one here for my page, so I might as well cut that out as well. Yeah, I have this one that I use a lot, and I also use my Fiskars bypass trimmer that cuts through chipboard and the thicker materials. Yeah. So <clears throat> I use those quite a lot. Karen, the cardstock I'm using, I'm not entirely sure whose it is because I actually got it from a craft fair. Um, you know, like these stores that just sells, what is it, like mixed card and stuff? Oh, what is it? I can't remember what the company is called. Lime Tree Crafts? Yes. Um, I think it was from there. Yeah, they, they kind of store your cardstock, don't they, behind? Yes. While you, while you, yeah, I've bought from them before as well. They're really yeah, good. so it I was from that. them, but I don't actually know what the name of the colour is, I'm afraid. But, yeah, Lime Tree, I got it from. Yeah, I normally go to <clears> the <throat> one at Alexandra Palace, but I don't think it's on this year, which is a shame. There's a craft show there. I think it's April once a year, but um, they haven't done it in a while. So I'm just yes. this binding here, just on the cover. <clears throat> Sorry, did you have? A, were you going to say something there, Vicky? Um, yeah, I was until I've lost what I was actually. Oh, it's there. Oh. <laughs> it's all right. I found it. Okay. So I've just wanted to say that I've trimmed this down to be able to fit in to my cover here. Mm -hmm. So uh, let me just think, how did I do this? I'm sorry if you can hear my dog in the background, guys. <laughs> <laughs> she's letting the world know that she's there. I'm here. <laughs> yes, I'm here. So how did I do that? OK, so all I did was I just got my cover and I wanted three holes, so I've done it in the, done use the holes that are in the middle here, and then lined it up. So then we've got the holes in the centre of that cover, and then the spacing here will be the same, if that makes sense. Because otherwise, if I do it like that, it will be, hmm, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, will it? Let me just. No, I'm going to do it that way. Just stick to the way I did it. Okay. <laughs> Always stick to what you did originally. So I'm just going to cut one of these off here. You always find that you make mistakes when you go live. Oh, yeah, definitely. You, you can't I edit it out. <laughs> yeah, you're not cut all the cards. I know. Like I know. Crafting, nobody watching. I know. Right, so that's my three holes you'll see there is a slight gap here now where's my dry one and i'll show you what i did for this one so you can see this one i actually lined them up with the cover here but i had to trim that cover down to be able to fit it so you can have it as that option but then i thought well we'll try it with just you know where it's cut slightly smaller and i think it looks quite cute actually so yeah I think that'd be fine so that will slot in there like so okay can you see that yes so I think it's preference really how if you want to have that gap there at the top and bottom or you can have it you know cut this down to make it so it's flush with the edge of you know like that sort of thing Entirely up to you. Yeah, actually, your um, is that the hunky dory 
um, scoreboard. That goes really well with all the colours that you're working I with. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it goes really well. <laughs> it does. I know you can get the pink. Uh, I like the pink one, but I'm not sure if you can still get that. I don't know. Have they, have they changed the colour or do they still I don't sell? know. Because Sam's got the pink one, hasn't she? Yeah, yeah. But... Okay, I'm going to start on this paper bag album a bit now because I've got a few kind of things to go through. So I'm going to cut this down first to seven and three quarters. But I will double check that measurement because measure twice, cut once. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> that's my <laughs> mistake. I don't do that. <laughs> so seven and three quarters. Even if I write it down, I'll cut it wrong. Like, yeah got a check just before I do it so I have here the base of the bag here the handles this side I'm just going to pop that in now bear in mind that um, a lot of paper bags aren't perfect or square so you will get a few wonky bits as you can see this line here is straight and my bag is kind of going off a little bit so um, it's not going to be an absolute perfect squared off thing. So there you go, six and three quarters. Nope, we want seven and three quarters. I have that in the wrong place. So I can discard that, put that in the recycling. It's all paper. And then I have this area here. This lifts up like that. What I want to do is cut off just a strip from this top bit to open up the base. So I'm just going to turn this over and don't don't worry if you're missing what Vicky's doing or vice versa when you're concentrating there's always the catch up on the replay so you can just play this back and then I'm just going to pop this in here I'm not going to use any of the straight or the guidelines here I'm just going to go by eye and keep it straight on this section here on the edge here and then I'm just going to trim that off There we go. Now that has opened up this area here. So we now have another pocket. So I just need to do a bit, little bit of gluing. Ah, my, hang on. My, my wire is stuck inside my paper trimmer. Hang on. Oh, don't cut that. <laughs> it's because it folds in half. <laughs> okay, so we have a few bits to glue down here. So we have all of these different folds. So we want to get rid of this because this is going to catch our papers or our mats and things on cards that we put in there so I'm just going to seal that off and then I'm also going to add some glue just here to get that flap down and then press that down now sometimes these areas here lift up like this so you can just glue those triangular bits down as well so what I'm doing here you can do with any paper bag any size so your measurements might be different if you're using a different sized bag okay so let's get matting it now so i have here a piece of paper for the back that's going to slide the bottom half is going to slide inside our pocket i didn't bother cutting this all the way down to the end because it's going to be inside the pocket just a quick dry run we have this little area here we want to slide our paper to the front of that so that it covers that completely. So when we put our inserts in and little cards and things like that into the pocket, it's not gonna get stuck on any of those bits there. So add our glue now just to that mat. So let's pop that in. Yeah, I remember the first time I went to Ali Pali, I was actually a few months pregnant with my first cut child, Katie, so. My bump Ali Pali, is that like a craft fair or something? Yeah, there was a craft fair at um, Alexandra Palace. Yeah. Uh, back then it was mostly scrapbooking back in oh, 2008. Okay. So let's just slide that in. Yeah, and Shamel was actually there. I did actually see Shamel. Um, she now works with American Crafts. But back then she was part of the scrapbook magazine. For yeah. Or scrapbook inspirations it was one of those two i can't remember now but yeah that was great seeing her there but it was mostly a scrapbooking show back then okay and then i'm going to just pattern match not pattern match but use the same pattern on here 
at the back and then at the front as well. So when you get your paper bags, just measure them and then you can easily take a, a quarter of an inch off to create your mats. Yeah, I took uh, Mr. G with me. <laughs> so that I bet he loved that. He was so bored. He was. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he enjoyed the views from outside because you can see all of London. You can see the city of London over from there and the, the gherkin and everything. So yeah, you can see all of that. I think last time I took Hobby to Craft, uh, not Craft Rama. Um, oh. The live craft live is it crafting live or something the one that creates and craft do oh yeah yeah um we went to that and hubby went to it but he didn't actually come in with me he just went off somewhere all right so are you just gluing like the inside cover yeah i'm just adding this on the inside so then it makes it a bit prettier yeah on there That's as well needed. Okay, so I'm just going to add my binding now to this page. I'll just quickly show you here. This is a steep, like 45 degree angle on the inside of this gusset. So this is not going to fit in there, as you can see from that angle. So I just need to snip this, and make it a bit sharper. That tends to do it. Going straight up like that. Then I can add my glue both sides. And that is going to be tucked inside the folded gusset here. And I'm going to leave this open on the other side because that's going to give us like extra space inside the pockets. It's like a little bit of an expansion. <clears throat> there. I'm almost running out of this glue, you know. Oh, I've run out and I'm waiting for it to come back in. Yeah. Um, I have some uh, this stuff here. Cosmic Shimmer. Cosmic Shimmer. Yeah. Actually, I might have one of these under my desk, but, well, you saw my desk yesterday, Vicky, so yeah. it might take me a while to find that. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to start my pages while my cover's drying. So. Okay, so I've got my paper bags here, and if you're wanting to know the measurements, um, I'd be able to tell you if I had my ruler. So this bit we're going to fold over. So then we've got this whole area here. So this will be, now did I cut this smaller on my last one? Let's have a look. I did. So I think I cut it down to just under five and a quarter. So five and a quarter once we've trimmed that bit off and it is three and three eighths. So quite small little bags, but they're really cute. So I'm going to start off by taking the handles out. So I'm going to try and sometimes you can just pull them out, can't you? But yeah, let's see. Oh, I might be able to trim them out actually. See if I can get my scissors in there because I don't want to ruin the bag itself. Oh, there we go. So are you just snipping, snipping those? Yeah, because can you see the handles are attached to a separate piece there? Yeah, that mine are the same. So um, I might be able to cut them out a bit easier. Yeah, mine are the same. Because I, <clears throat> I pulled them off, this one, but it did tear it a little bit. Oh, so yeah, yeah. Just seeing if it's easy just to cut those bits out. Okay, so I've got my first page done. Right, let's work on the insert for that now. Let's actually find a home for this little guy to go. I'll put you there, I think. There we go. Okay, it's getting quite chunky now. Chunky like monkey. It is. And... Do you know, it was you that actually started me with mini bag, paper bag, mini albums. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> That was that must have been ages ago. <laughs> yes, a long time ago. Ah, there we go. 
So I'm going to be making an insert now that fits inside here. So um, I will be using some white cardstock, so hopefully it doesn't glare. And I'm going to cover that as well with a bit of uh, probably a bit of patterned paper. Right, so I have a piece of white cardstock here. And that measures... Uh, but, but, but it measures 11 and 5 eighths, which is basically the length of the A4, and I've trimmed it down to 7 and 5 eighths. Then I'm going to score it. So let's get a measurement for that. I'm going to score it at 5 and 1 eighth. Karen, are you on about my bags? If so, yes, you can. You can get the these are from the range. They're the art studio. The two ninety nine for a pack of ten. So you can get two mini albums, or even more if you use less pages for each one. Was it part of their ordinary range, or was it part of like an Easter thing? Um, I think it is their Easter. Ah, okay. You've got to be quick then. Yes. But I think they do like plain white ones and things like that anyway. So, oh, the, it's, I think you're all right. That's all right, Karen. No problem. Right. So I've sorted the handles out and I just re uh, stuck where the handles were stuck down. So then that's nice and flat in there. So my photo mats won't catch in there. So if I just fold this bottom bit over, it's going to be quite bulky here. So I want to trim some of this bit off. So you can see these triangle bits here. I'm going to undo them. So we're just opening the bottom of the bag. And I'm going to cut these triangle bits off here. That's, that's getting rid of all of the bulk, isn't it? Yes, it is, yeah. And I can't remember, did I take those bits out? Now, I'm just trying to think. Let's have a look at this one. Yes. And I also cut off these two bits here. So they'll be folded in after you've cut those triangle bits off. So then when you fold that over, you can see it's still a bit bulky. So I'm just going to cut these ones off as well. I can show you again in a minute if you not following <laughs> so far that there's always the replay as well yeah so. that's it and then i can fold that up and now you can see it's not as bulky Do you want to say hello to debbie hello debbie which debbie is it uh, it's Debbie Ruta. So yeah, I think she ah, okay. was long yesterday, didn't she? There she a, did, there yeah. Was a there was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, my I'm just looking and um either it's my end, but Facebook has it frozen for anybody else, has it? Or is yes, it just my laptop? Let's have a look. Um, I think it's still okay. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I was going to say YouTube's still going, but Facebook is. Yeah. Let us know on Facebook how it is for you. It might just be my internet. Okay, so I'm going to start now adding some tabs. I have got this. I love this die set. I need to play with this more often. Um, this is the die and A5 stamp stationery and grid. 
So that's a bit of a mouthful. Um, <laughs> but we get all of these choices of these different tab tops, and I've got some cut out already, and I've got these paper clips as well. We also have a stamp set. This does A6, but I'll be stamping onto A7. So this is a really, really useful journaling type of um, stamp set and die set. So I love this. So I've got six of these already cut out i've just gone one gone for one of each shape and i've got six pages and i'll be coming back to use the paper clips which i'll just pop there as well so let's get these glued on they simply just uh, fold in half they have a little line in the middle fold them in half And then you can attach them to your projects, just like so. I'm just gluing this side of my bag now. Yeah, I think my Facebook's not playing, playing ball. You can always refresh it, perhaps. Yeah, I've done that. Ah, okay. You, YouTube's fine, so... It might come back eventually. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pop these on all of them now. So uh, what page was I working on? Um, let's pop you in here. Then there's absolutely loads of space here. You can pop your photographs inside this pocket. You can turn it over. There's a plain piece of paper here, plain piece of card. And there's loads of space there. And again, just stuff your bits and bobs in, make it fat. And then <laughs> <laughs> there's loads and loads of room in here as well. Photos, journaling areas as well. That's going to be a lot of fun on the back as well. Don't forget, there's the back. That's of the really back. nice. So... This would make a really nice Christmas version. I might have to do it this would. Christmas as well. Oh, and I forgot to make a thumb hole. So let's go back to the page that I just made. All you need is a one inch punch. And I'm just going to pop that in upside down and put that in halfway using the open circle so I can see where I'm punching. And then I've got myself a nice little thumb hole there now. So, yeah, let's do this one next. Uh, let's go for this one. So, again, it's got the score line in and a little flag detail as well. So, I am going to add glue to both sides. And then I'm actually going to pop this into a different place. So all of my little um, tabs are going to be in different places. In the album. Oops, I glued that to the wrong place. Look. There you go, Vicky. First mistake. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just tried to think how I did this. I can't remember. Oh, I, I think I remember now. Because the thing is, I did, I cut out the smallest one. So have I got the, one of the small ones here to show you? Yeah, so I've got the smallest one here. And I found because of, these are funny measurements, aren't they, these paper bags? Yeah. If I lay that in there, like so, and have my three holes, you'll see that the holes are not quite central with that page. Yeah. And this space here is smaller than this space here. So can you see? There's a bit yeah. of a a difference so i decided to cut it with the medium one so then i can have more of the holes ah, that's, to that's work right. with yeah and i just laid that on there so then my three holes are central and then i worked out i think it was about half an inch from this hole here yeah so there's going to be half an inch here and then half an inch here so I just tick marked if, if I can find my pencil. You see, my desk is covered in stuff now, and I can't find anything either. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I have that problem. <laughs> So uh, I'm, I'm using a, I'm actually using a plate rack. Oh yeah, <laughs> I am just, just to store everything. I'll get that out in a minute and show you guys. But um, it's just storing everything vertically, so I'm not losing things under things. But I'm, yeah, I've run out of space on there now, so I am actually piling stuff too. So let's move that along. Yeah, I'm just using. I think it's from IKEA. It's just a little um wooden rack thingy yeah for plates but it stores everything that i'm using for the live so i used to take that in my suitcase to create and craft did you <laughs> pull out just pull out a <laughs> random plate rack yeah <laughs> i used to think i made a mess but then if you compare it to like uh, leone um yeah because i used to say oh no i've made a big mess they're like no that's not a mess <laughs> no <laughs> Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, so there we go now. So I've got my three holes, and you'll see here that it's those three holes will be central in my paper, down the middle of my paper bag here, and then we've got half an inch here and half an inch there, and then we just need to trim that so it will fit into there like so. And there we go. Excellent. I'll probably do that. two of these, so then it's not showing the white on the back. So I'm going to stick two of them together, I think. So um, will you be putting in your discs last? Because I think I'll be doing that last as well. Yes. <clears throat> adding my tabs here to... I'm going to add some more tabs, I think, later on to the side here as well. I think that will give it a lot of uh, extra interest. Gemma says, whose idea is today's challenge? Uh, I think it we were both planning on doing a paper bag album, but I hadn't said anything. And then <laughs> on one of the lives, Vicky said, oh, I'm going to do a paper album. I was like, oh, I was going to do a paper album as well. <laughs> so now let's do a collab. Let's do it together. <laughs> so, yeah, but we'll give that a go. Great minds think alike, eh? Exactly. Got to have the paper bag albums. Uh, Lynn says YouTube froze for a second, but it's fine now. Yeah, my Facebook's gone, so I'm just on YouTube now. Uh, Helen's asking why we don't go on creative, uh, create and craft anymore. Um, it was a company decision with the amount of um, expenditure that it took so and, and the amount of energy um and basically we just did it for exposure in the beginning in the early days so yeah we've had that exposure now so it's something that, that we're, we're fully confident that, that that we're good now so a craft stash not doing the um I've, uh, because they had a stand, didn't they, at the Creative Craft live show last year, I think they did. Yeah. Are they not having one this year? I have no idea. Uh, um, I have actually seen them at Ali Pali back in the day as well. Back in the day. Back in the day. <laughs> That's making you sound quite old now, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I probably shouldn't say things like that, should I? No, no, not really. I'm, I'm still young at heart. Yes. <laughs> Although I, I am a little bit deaf, so I am I am actually uh, partially deaf, so it's only going to get worse. Oh. So I don't, actually, I don't actually get on very well with hearing aids. I give me a blinking headache. So, so you're actually completely deaf or just partially? Um, probably about 40 to 50% in each ear. One ear is worse than the other. So I haven't actually had a hearing test in a few years since before lockdown. So I, I know it's got worse. I need to go back. Yeah. They're like, my hearing aids don't work for me anymore because I've moved out of the, the range that they were set at. So I need to get all of that redone. It's just going to be a massive palaver. But I need to get the ball rolling, I guess. But I don't know. Was you born like that or was it a 
Um, no, I wasn't born like that, but I think there is hearing loss, so I think yeah. it's hereditary. So okay, so there is that. So right, let's do the back cover. I'm going to work on the back cover now. I mean, it was absolutely horrendous when trying to listen to someone wearing a mask. Oh my oh. god. And, it was the worst at um, actually at Crate and Craft because everyone's like whispering and talking really quietly. Yeah. Behind their masks. I'm like, I can't hear you. Can't hear you. <laughs> it's like, if you had subtitles, that would be lovely. But, yeah. Uh, I was just constantly like, what? Sorry, say that again. And in the end, they'll just take uh. their mask down and say, blah, 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 you know, repeat <laughs> it. But um, yeah, it, it, I can see how it's really annoying for other people yeah. to have to repeat themselves a lot. So. Sometimes you just have to nod. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. 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 <laughs> got that, but yeah. Totally get what you're saying, but yeah. Yeah, te telephone calls are, are not that fun at all. Um, mm. But uh, it's, I'm mostly okay for telephone calls because it's an interactive <clears> thing. <throat> I can ask them to, sorry, say that again or talk a bit more slowly. But yeah. I have to have someone listen to my voicemail because... You can't hear it very well. Yeah, especially when the school phone and they speak at 100 miles per hour. Yeah. I don't get the name. I don't get the number. I have no idea who's rang me. Um, so, <laughs> oh. so I have to go, oh, Mr. G, can you listen to this voicemail for me? So I've got here a piece of one millimeter thick gray board it measures seven inches by seven and three quarters and I've already added some wide tape to this you've seen me use this if you've seen my videos before you've seen me use this before I, I still need to get some of that it's really good it saves up loads of it yeah glue and stuff and it works really well with the gray board as well I just need to add another bit just to here because that area was a bit slim down i'm gonna use my ruler actually this is really my best tip ever just use your ruler to tear it there we go done done and dusted and press that down as well the trick is to get this pressed right down into the fibers and then use a pokey tool to get the backing up there we go Right, let's get this down. Onto, I've got some patterned paper here. This is going to be the outside of the album. And then I'm just going to use my craft knife just to trim all the way around. Oh, I've got to say hello to Lynn. She's hello, Lynn. Us, so she can just, um, if she wants to catch up, she can do later on. Oh, Karen has tinnitus. Yeah, I have tinnitus too. Yeah, it's an utter nightmare with those things. But, um, yeah, sometimes my tinnitus is worse than other times, but I've I've had tinnitus since I don't know about seven or eight. So I I it doesn't actually bother me whatsoever. I know it it can drive some people bonkers, but I'm absolutely fine with it. What is it? It's basically ringing in the ears. Oh, okay. I've got about three or four different tones. Yeah ringing at the same time so oh. that does that would drive some people mad but because i'm it so would used to it. i'm so used to it now it's just normal i i think i'd feel a bit weird if it just suddenly went away mm. <laughs> don't know what i'd feel i'm gonna choose another piece of paper for the front so i'm gonna let that dry and i'm gonna go back to my cover now <laughs> Oh, that looks so pretty. Love those colours. <laughs> just going to grab myself another piece of uh, pink card. I need to do another thingy my bobby disc strip. Yeah, we know what you're on about, thingy my bobby. <laughs> <laughs> just going to add it just here, my thingy my bobby. <laughs> right. So I've die cut my pocket from the small album die set and then obviously we've got my belly band to, to wrap around the cover and i've cut this out twice because i want the two tabs um 
to be able to attach them together but we will need to trim that down as well but i'm going to do the pocket first i'm just going to reinforce those score lines so then my paper well my card don't crack I'm die cutting if you can't hear that. I, I don't know. Is it coming? Through? I can hear that. Yeah, I can. It's not very loud. It's very faint, though. Oh, that's all right then. Oh yeah, I've got to cut this down as well. I've got my uh, daughter at home since Friday. Ah. We went to my brother's wedding on Thursday and uh, she woke up really poorly. Um, and uh, we thought it was scarlet fever because her friends had got it at school because um, she was showing all the signs of it and stuff. And she had this rash, but they're saying it's uh, the rash is not scarlet fever, which is good. Oh, that's all right then. Did I say but, it was like just a fluey thing? Yeah, but she's really ill with this. And my uh, middle daughter, which is Neve, who is the one who's poorly, she's very uh, bubbly. So you know when she's poorly. Yeah. <laughs> so. But the thing is, I was running around at the wedding in just the dresses that's got like straps on. And I said, you need to put your cardigan on or your coat because it's quite cold out there. I know you might not feel it when you're running around, but plus they had this photo booth as well where they had all these masks and everything. So, yeah, <laughs> I think I could I have picked some something up. Photos. Yeah, yeah, I saw some of those photos. <laughs> it was like good fun. It was a lot of fun, yeah. I was thinking I might have one for my 40th birthday party Ooh. next year. That so good. Yeah, that'll be a load of fun. Yeah. Get one of those frames as well. Yeah, well, the thing is as well, the um, guy who was doing the photo booth, he printed off three pictures um, and it would give two to us and then one would go in the bride and groom's album oh. so they had a copy and I thought that's really cool so yeah was it like a Polaroid type thing or did he have like a Canon selfie printer um it it was it was almost like one of those you know when you go and have your passport done in one of those booths at, oh okay yeah it was it was kind of like that and it printed it like that as well. Okay. So would you do, would you hire someone? I think so. Yeah, less to worry about then. I'm just cutting off the backing paper for the other side of the back cover. I've added paper to one side. Now I'm ready to cover this now that I've added my binding strip. So have, have you got loads of photos now from the wedding that you'd like to kind of scrap? <clears throat> yeah, my kids were the ones that was mostly taking all the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was good fun. So uh, so I'm going to add my belly band now. So I've got that one. Uh, oh, actually, do I? no, I don't need to. Hmm. I didn't really need to cut that one, but oh, I don't know. Let's have a look. Uh, Debbie's saying they've got telephones that you can read while they're talking. I need one of those. <laughs> I've also seen some people with um, the voicemail, so it actually just sends you a text for whatever the voicemail is. I need that service too, so hopefully I'll be able to get my hands on something like that. My glue has dried up. Oh, no. Blockage. I haven't had a blockage in this ever. So yeah, it waited for me to go live. Did I'm just happen? deciding. No, I don't know. No. Okay, sorry, carry on. I'm just talking to myself here. <laughs> I'm just gonna poke it with my pokey tool. Yeah, this happened on Crate and Craft as well. Like my because they have like loads of air conditioning in there. So my glue kept drying up faster. So you literally yeah. have to be on the ball in getting your lid back on every time. Otherwise it dries up. 
So it's really nice to go there in the summer. What's creating craft? Yeah, because they've got the air con. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then you can actually boil alive when you go out the front doors. Yeah. Okay, I think that's so. Let's have a look. Go trim that one down. And make that one a tab, I think. Got a little bit of an overhang just on the other side, so get that craft knife and just I'm gonna trim that off. There we go. How are you getting on, Vicky? I'm all right. Are you work on your cover still. We've gone back to it now. You know what I've Sorry? the bucket on the wrong side oh, I was no. like that has confused me and I was like why is it there <laughs> blooper alert guys blooper alert at least I can rub this glue off has it changed the colour it looks a bit lighter yeah it's gone like a it's changed it to like an orangey colour yeah. I don't know why but I'm gonna it will get covered up anyway so it's fine okay so I've right got my, back cover, my back cover's done now let's try again pocket on the back cover Vicky not the front cover I'm glad I noticed that before I stuck the belly band down and everything <laughs> else that would have been a nightmare wouldn't it <laughs> Yeah, I've I've done that before, and you you completely mess the whole project up live yeah. on TV, and there's no rectifying it either. But luckily, we we had like two minutes left, and that was why I was rushing, and that's why I made the mistake. But still, I'm like, well, just watch the tutorial; it's all fine on that. Yeah. <laughs> so the thing is, I would only notice because the paper was, uh, you know, upside down. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm glad I noticed that. Okay, I'm adding my rings now. I think you yeah. can get bigger ones. I think you get two inch ones. So the, the rings that we need for your album that you're making, because you're using the cover, you need the 24 millimeter ones. Me? Yeah. Yeah, the small ones, yeah. Yeah. These ones are a bit larger. These are three and a half centimeters. So I've just got I still need to make a bigger one with the bigger rings. Have you got anything in mind for themes or anything, or are you still thinking about it? I don't know. I'm thinking about it, I think. I need a notebook for um, uni, so uh, I might actually make myself a, an A4 notebook. Yeah, that sounds good. Right. Okay, let's try again. So these discs just slot onto those mushroom holes. And there is a pocket here, it's kind of like a bit of a eye trick there because of those stripes. So I'm just adding all of my pages one at a time now. This is this might take me a bit of a while. And then I'm going to start working on what I'm going to pop in the pockets. Yeah, I've got a ton of space in this album for loads of different things. So we have the pockets there. Then we have these pullouts at the top there as well. I can even add another flap if I wanted to. I can tuck the flap the tab bit of the flap inside here so it's hidden and you can glue it and then you can have your flap that looks looking good so far i don't think i'm going to have time here today to decorate the front cover so it's going to be a bit plain but i think i want to decorate the front cover once i know um what kind of photos I'm going to be popping in here because if it's got a title then I want to use a, a title that goes with what I'm doing okay I just good need to idea cut another, cut another piece of paper for the inside of this book 
cover. I think I'll go for this one. Yes, I'll go for that one. Okay, I need some more paper. Where's my paper bag? I can't see anybody's comments on Facebook, only uh, okay. on YouTube. I'll, I'll read a few out here. Um, Helen's asking if we know if the craft stash will be selling the cord and clips separately so that they can replan. Um, I, I don't know. Um, the what clips, sorry? You know, the tassel and uh, oh, yes, yeah, yeah, those little clips. So, yeah, I have no idea. Let's measure this again seven three quarters by seven is it seven yes seven lost my pencil markings and helen's got double-sided carpet tape double-sided carpet tape yeah tape. i guess that's yeah. really sticky isn't it Yeah, we're still, we're still okay going to both uh, YouTube and Facebook. Oh, that's good. Just now, me uh, then. <laughs> so a quick question for everyone. Is uh, daytime easier for you to join in or are evenings better? Because I used to go live on a Saturday evening, so... But then some people couldn't join because they preferred the daytime one, so... But then it depends what time zone that you're in as well. I had a lot more US people join on a Saturday evening because it was round about Saturday lunchtime over there. Then it also depends on the time of year as well. People tend to be a lot busier in the summer doing their outdoor things, having barbecues and nice. like that. We don't do barbecues. Don't you? Only No, only if someone else is doing it. But. Uh, yeah, we've the I'm, last couple of years we started doing it and we've decided, yeah, we're gonna keep doing this. It's quite enjoyable. Yeah. I'm quite a paranoid person when it comes to food on a ah. barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not really worth the hassle for us to do it. Yeah, it is sometimes worth just cooking the chicken and things like that. Yeah. In the oven and then just charcoal it on the outside. Just give it that bit of a barbecue colour. But you know it's already cooked because it's been yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, that is my cover done. Well, not done, but I just need to decorate that. So I've got loads of the ephemera here that I can play with. There we go. There we go. Look at that. It fits on the rings just nice. nicely. There you go. It's, it is a bit of a chunky monkey, though. Chunky it's monkey. Got, <laughs> it's got all of these lovely inserts. This looks really inviting as well. So if you have um, an album that has all of these things poking out, it really does invite people to kind of go, oh, I really want to have a look in there and, and see everything. So, right. So let's do some tucking in and adding stuff now. So I have here... All my little goodies we have the pocket journal pocket card set got some more ephemera there and i also have some washi tape as well here we go let's grab a sheet of that as well so if you're I think on YouTube, gonna... sorry go on. if you're on youtube the itemized list is here for everything we're using here today sorry vicky I says, I think I'm just going to add the paper to the inside the front cover, not the back, because the pages are going to be covering that up anyway, aren't they? So. Yeah. Yeah, I tend to leave that just plain. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to tuck okay. some bits and bobs in. This is going to be perfect for photo mats as well. You know, you don't even have to decorate this area here behind here. You can do if you kind of want to pull a thing out and have something there to look at. Um, but you can literally just pop your cards in. And you have the full area as well inside that pocket that I showed you how to make. So you can just pop all your bits and bobs in there. 
So we have some grid cards as well, as well as some nice florals. Let's pop that there. And then we can go to our ephemera. We can add things to... So I've just trimmed my paper bag, so it's now five and a quarter. Okay. So they all measure the same now. I'm going to add my paper. So this will be five by three and one eighths. So I'm just adding some embellishments here using the ephemera time with family and again that's going to look really good with some extra uh, photo mats and things as well so there we go I'm going to add uh, probably one of these here we have some lines as well the journaling cards are so cool yeah, really Perfect for photo mats as well, which is what I'm going to use on mine. Yes, yeah, so if you pop this on with some washi tape, you can kind of lift this up and add your photograph yeah. on the back. And add that there. <clears throat> that will look nice here. So I'm just going to put that there temporarily. So I'm just going to grab some of my washi tape. Uh, just, just my old washi tape. I don't want to use the good stuff because... I want to use that on other bits so I'm just going to pop this here just to keep that there and then I'm going to actually do some stamping I want to make myself some journal cards with the lined ink pads and add some washi tape to that and these are going to make perfect inserts for popping in there so you can add your photos to that or your journaling too. So um, I'm going to grab my Versafine. I've got black ink here, and I'm going to be needing. I'm going to be needing more space. <laughs> <My hair. laughs> yeah. Right. So here is the stamp set from. Where is it? Here it is. <laughs> from this set here. So you get all these dies for the tabs and things, and then we have this. So it looks tiny here, but this is actually how how big it is. So Lynn's saying she likes the daytime lives, and Karen also likes the daytime lives as well. Because it does, because it's on the replay, so the evening people can actually uh, catch up. So I'm actually going to use the the square grid. <clears throat> I can hear my front door closing and opening, so I think my children. <laughs> have now officially finished school. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, oh dear. <laughs> That's all right. They don't they don't get that bored. They they're pretty good at finding things to do because they I guess they know I'm gonna give work in that give mm. them something to do if they get too bored. Are they old enough to keep themselves entertained yes. then? Yeah. Yeah my daughter will probably clean her room when she gets totally bored. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose that's a bonus. Yes. <laughs> there we go. So that's, that's now added. Pages now added. Oh, did you hear my belly rumbling then? <laughs> no, are you hungry, Vicky? <laughs> <laughs> it is lunchtime, I guess. I had a snack before, but yeah, my tummy was rumbling a bit there. <clears throat> Yeah, I think we were thinking of um, getting a McDonald's breakfast. Oh, don't. Of <laughs> both of my children haven't had one before. They haven't tried it. Really? Yeah, we we, we, we like to go, experiment in going places for breakfast, uh, cafes okay. and things. So we've done all like, the cafes in our local area. But we haven't, obviously me and Mr G have, had McDonald's uh, breakfast before, mm. but the haven't. So I thought, well, we can give them a go. So it was actually Mr. G's idea. Uh. So I think we're going to have to get up early tomorrow. 
and uh, yeah, give it give it a go. Can't so, beat McDonald's. Yeah, what's your favourite McDonald's? Breakfast? Big Mac. Oh, oh, uh, oh okay, double right. muffin. Ah, is that sausage or bacon? Uh, sausage. So, uh, me too. But mm. I go for I go for a single because I can't um. I can't eat it's too much if it's a double. <laughs> No, it just makes me sound like I'm really greedy now, doesn't it? <laughs> now, you're all right if you get an orange juice, you're nice and, nice and healthy. Yeah. I find their hot chocolates are way too sweet. Oh, I haven't tried them. I tried it once. I was like, no. There we go. Got myself a nice journaling card now. I have, I have some extra bits there. You can pop a piece of paper under there if you don't want that to get marked but I'm fine with that being marked so you like a Big Mac as well I like I, I like I do. and uh, McChicken sandwiches oh, I've not tried that one. Oh, they're really nice the mayonnaise is lovely sorry if we're making everyone hungry sorry but... yeah <laughs> I tell you what I Making a mini album, I can do, but when it comes to the decorating, it takes me oh forever. Yes. I always struggle with the decorating. Yes, this is this is why um, I think using the dies makes that bit easier. So yeah. you're thinking less, and you have a bit more energy then to put into your decorating. But I definitely do it in two different sessions. Yeah, album construction in the first session, and then everything else hmm. you can do in stages so i've still got um, my sister's cruise photos to put in the album as well have you i've got about 250 <gasps> but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna put them all in there because that's just way too many yeah There we go. I, sh I, I, I keep showing this, but this is the album here. I'm using the Oasis Adventure Papers for this one. Oh, that's nice. So Is that A4? No, this is the large album. Oh, okay. So in the large album, you can pop in pages from the medium and the small. Oh, I see. So I'll have loads of different layers and interests to uh, pop in there. But yeah, these are all the photographs <laughs> that I have. Ready to go. Wow. <laughs> oh, my days. So all the leftovers I'll just give to her to do what she wants with. So I'll, I'll put the main pictures in there so that, that will tell the story. We're making Gemma hungry, apparently. Sorry, oh, sorry Gemma. Gemma. <laughs> <laughs> we'll all be on Just Eat and asking her, ordering stuff. I know. Can't beat fish and chips either. Oh, I think I might just go for that tomorrow. With curry sauce. Yes. So, yes. Did you put your fish and chips on Monday? I think, I think she does it on a Monday. Or whether, I don't oh, know does if she? That was just a, a one-off. It could have been a one-off, but it could be a Monday thing. Right, so I've got my cards now using those. And the stamp set also comes with these dotted lines as well. So... Let's add some washi tape. I'm just going to decorate the top or the bottom, depending on which way you have your card. <laughs> if you can't hear my belly rumbling, then everybody else can't, so that's fine. <laughs> ah, but I'm deaf, remember, though. <laughs> Can anybody <laughs> else hear it? <laughs> so you can't rely on me for sound, I'm afraid. No. Uh, uh... I don't know if I want that one there now. Can I take it off? No. Too late. It's got it stuck there. Never mind. I know. Is it made its decision for you? Yeah. Yes. Hey ho. There we go. It's stuck now. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just using the um, ephemera. The ephemera now. To I'm decorate, just doing, yeah. Just playing with the washi tapes. Making my little journal cards. So this, I like getting to this point because now. It's literally ready for me to start adding my bits and bobs and memories and things. Once we get to the end of where we are today. Oh dear, everybody heard it. Was it loud? Oh, 
That's what people heard it, okay? I really am not there. <laughs> oh dear, I'm sorry. Hopefully it wasn't too loud. <laughs> Do you live near a McDonald's? Yes. Oh, oh, no, you could just pop out and get one. I know. I'm tempted to. Ours is about three miles away, so we have to order in. <laughs> oh, there it goes again. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you're going to be setting my tummy off in a minute. Oh, I know. I've only had toast today, so I'm getting a bit hungry myself. I tell you, I'm surprised my husband hasn't um, come in and said hello because he says, oh, I might pop in and say hello. It's like, don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> don't you dare. <laughs> he might say something now. I know. Watching. Oh, gosh, yeah, there's a couple of people that heard. Yeah, <laughs> I can see. Under a pile of papers, I thought you Yeah, it's not thundering everyone, it's just Vicky. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, so now all of my little cards that I've just made, you can have them that way round or at the bottom, they're going to uh, work really nicely and coordinate with all of the other journaling cards as well. So I'm just going to use some of my paper clips that I've just die cut. I love the rainbow before. coloured one. Yes, they're really colourful, aren't they? Mm. So I'm going to add my paper clip. Add it that way. Okay. Go. Add that one. Put the <laughs> Oh yeah, that's nice. I like that. And then we can add that to our album. It's now got buried under stuff pop you in there that's coming out really nice and colorful you can pop in another one there we go i think i might do another i can't pick these up put another one in here as well oh this has got lovely flowers on the top yeah that's looking pretty thank you Pop this here, pop that on there. So many different things that you can do. Um, what shall I do next? I'll embellish this area here, I think. Let's add some flowers. This goes really well with these papers. Yeah, I think I'll pop. I'm going to put getting things done just there. Yes, I think that's going to look really nice. So if you love memory planning, where you have a planner or a diary where you write down all the things that you need to do, you can also add your photographs as well into that. So it's kind of, it flows and it records everything at the same time. So this uh, ephemera is going to be absolutely perfect for that as well. I'm going to use the journaling cards to put as mats in my pockets, I think. Okay. Might use this grid one, I think. Uh, let's trim this down a bit then. Bonita, so yeah, Bonita's watching on YouTube, so you're under a pile of papers. <laughs> oh no, Debbie, <laughs> she wants some Mackie D's. <laughs> oh, sorry, Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to get the tab die as well, so I can make tabs for this. Uh, gotta find it somewhere. 
didn't think to get it out. I've decided to put all my uh, dies in a box next to my filming area so that I can just reach for them a bit better. Um, I've done a, uh, just answering Helen's question that just popped up there. Um, I have done something similar with a traveller's notebook, but you can do that, uh, especially if you have the stencils. Um, makes it super easy. Here we go. We have the stencils here. I think it's pack two. Let's have a look through them. Yeah, pack two. You can create all of these boxes for adding your little um, days of the week. And then you can use uh, stamp sets and things like that to stamp the days and things like that. So um, I think one of my Papercraft Society boxes had that. Um, oh, I found you. I was have. panicking then. Oh, were you? <laughs> I was like, where is it? <laughs> You lost something. The uh, die, the uh, tabs, die and A5 stamp set. No, not A5 stamp set. I have here a few things that I've been filling out. Uh, this is the Traveller's Notebook from the Papercraft Society. I think that's long gone now, but just as an example, I've got all of the, for January, I've got all the days there as a dashboard. And then using different stamps and things, you can decorate and add your photos. Um, I'll have to find the little notebook that has all of the uh, the days of the week as well in it. I do really like decorating the uh, traveller's notebooks. They're a lot of fun. You can use them as little art journals as well. Oh, here we go, I found one. Yeah, these little notebooks are absolutely perfect. Basically. Oh, they're nice. So, yeah, using... That's pretty. The stencils. This is this stamp set's actually still in stock. It just doesn't... Oh, look, is it? That's... it? It doesn't look great on the website because of the dark colours. You can't <clears throat> see the stamped image. Um, I'm just trying to find the stamp set here. Here it is. There we go. This is the Journal Accessories Stamp and Die Set. So as you can see, it's just dark navy blue blobs. Um, blobs. But inside, it's really nice. My dies have gone everywhere. I love that stamp set. It's really fun. So nice. Okay, so we also get the dies there to cut out those lovely flowers. They look great in yellow as well. So here's the stamp set. You get the little journal box and everything. It's all wonky because I put it back on the sheet wonky, but um, these beautiful flowers here that create that. You get a choice of three, and then you've got all of the dies as well. I'll just keep them in this little plastic wallet. And then the dies also cut out those boxes too. You even get this little like um box solid, filler. yeah, solid that's the word, so that you can stamp on there to to make a little background for your days of the week. So yeah, you can literally make a, a different layout for every single week. And if you print off your photos, little small ones, you can add them to that as well. So again, I've left this side plain. So if you wanted to, you can use these stencils to create yourself a nice little journal diary planner area and then add them there. Ah, the hand's already got that set, so you're set to go as well. So you can use that in your mini albums, especially if you make your mini albums and just keep the backgrounds plain so you can make your base layers first and then decorate 
over the grids that you've made. That's a good idea. There we go. So how are you getting on, Vicky? I'm all right. I'm just adding my journaling card. I've added the tab to it now. I rounded the corners on the bottom because it kept catching inside the when you know when you slide it in. So yeah. I've just rounded them off so then it won't catch ah, on yeah, them. So it goes in and out now. So um, oh, Helen's asking what the stencils are called. These are planner set one and planner set two. They're under the creative uh, craft products range. Just wondering if to add any diamantes. Can't go wrong with a bit of diamante. Oh yes, a little bit of sparkle there. Do you stick yours on with just a bit of glue? Yes, I do. I think everybody knows I'm a bit of a sparkly girl now. <laughs> if they've been following me for a while. <laughs> Have you still got that curtain with the lights on in the background? I do. You yes. do. I remember when you first put that up in one of I think it was one of your tours, I think. You were, you were discussing your plans and yeah that was years and years ago though i've got i don't use it as my backdrop anymore i actually oh. just use it for um because i've got i've made that as like a uh, my lego area on because oh, yeah. i've got one of those um ikea units and i've got my lego sets on there and then i've got the lights in the background it was so pretty oh. I've packed my home alone house away now. <laughs> have you? I have. It's going to come back out at Christmas again. Oh, no. It's staying out all year for me. Oh, uh, okay. You, you managed to get your light settings in there, didn't you? I'm still trying I did. to find in. <laughs> uh, yeah, my husband hard. cursed me for that, though. <laughs> oh, he did it for you. Yeah. I couldn't do it. It was too fiddly for me. Yeah, I broke one of the wires already, so I have to get a replacement for that. So... Get Mr. G to put it together. It's too fiddly for him as well. He's like, I ain't doing that. No, I ain't <laughs> doing that. <laughs> so, yeah, but I broke one of the wires. You bought oh. it for me. Well, the lighting kit anyway. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Maybe this Christmas I might manage to get that done. <laughs> I start in October, maybe. <laughs> I've got the loft done, the roof bit. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I've got my start. pages done, okay. so you can add little photos um, onto there. I've got my journal card in there, so I might add an ephemera to the pocket here, I think. I'm going to just do a little bit on the front, I think. I won't finish the album, No, up, but I will get a good start. I don't think I'm going to add all the journaling cards in there today, but you get the idea of just, you can add some more into these pockets here. Obviously, you can't add it to the last one because that's being tucked into the back cover, but you can have four pull-out mats with the other ones. That sounds good. I'm going to go uh, for some magenta paper that I think it's almost the same shade as what you have there. Um, need to move some of this stuff out of my way now. It's doing my head in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think we're going to have more, more or less about another 10 minutes left, I think, because yep. I think we're getting a bit hungry now. <laughs> Crafting makes me super hungry. Oh, thank you, Debbie. She's saying they both look gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to finish up here. Yeah, I think I'm just going to add it to the pocket and then... And then we can do a quick walkthrough on each album. Yes. You didn't decorate your covers, did you, on the outside? Um, I'm just going to add a little few mats here. I was going to say, I've got my mats somewhere and I can't find them. I bet I've cut them up by mistake. Oh, I did that <laughs> live on TV. I'm like, oh, where's uh, my paper gone? Oh, no, I've cut it. <laughs> I've used it. Oops. Is this... Oh, there's one of them. Okay, I bet I did cut the other one up. Oh, so I just have to add it to the front page in the back 
one I'll do another day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've done that before. It's like, oh. <laughs> right, let's get this popped down. Got Make sure I pop it the right way. Oh, I've got some parcel tags as well. These are from the works. Have you got a works where you are? Yeah. It's well, not very big, I though. I okay. If I want, um, I have to usually go on the website to... Oh, to get all the good stuff. Yeah. Are you the same or do you have a good... Uh, we had a small one and then it moved to a slightly larger one. But I still mm. find um, they don't get a lot of new stuff in, so... No. All the same stuff, really. But yeah, I do find sometimes their range is better online. I'm just going to pop that in there. There we go. I probably add a lace doily, maybe. I'm going to add these uh, to the inside as well because I can stamp on these as well using yeah. the grid. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Using the grid one here, I can create some journaling lines, stamp it with some walnut stain. I have some nice journaling lines there so i'm uh, undecided if to add an ephemera onto my pocket because it's quite busy paper isn't it but i don't know if to just leave it um you can always make a decision later on i think so yeah yeah, yeah i'm gonna leave it kind of disappears, gets it gets lost doesn't it yeah yeah some of my ephemera did get a bit lost but it's still sort of there, see. But I can I can get a ton of stuff in this pocket here. Stuff it all in. Stuff it in. <laughs> Got these little twine bits as well, adding a bit of interest. So yeah, I'm happy with this. How that has turned out. Plenty of room there for photos, plenty of room for writing things down. So yeah. I'll add some more paper clips, I think, to places. That pink goes so pretty with that paper. It's so nice. What with your um that bright pink, yeah. Yeah, it does. Debbie says, I've put my mats into my scraps. And what was that? I can't uh, see the end bit. Uh, I've put my mats into my scraps. I've just brought it up, so into and the then scrap had to be And had to remeasure them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. There we go. I'm just going to leave it onto that page there. So are you ready to see I am. Walk through? Do you want to go yes. First? Okay. So here is obviously I need to add the paper to that as well. But that's the front cover. And then obviously we've got to decorate the inside. Then we've got our pages with pockets. And then I've got my double page layout. So you can add some small photos on there. We've got the pull-out journal card, and then obviously we have the back as well. Lovely. There we go. And I've just noticed, I think that was upside down, but never mind. <laughs> <laughs> that paper on the pocket. Oh, but... I see. Okay. But there we go. Yeah, so that's all ready now for your photographs. It is, and I can decorate it and yes. as I add my photos. Yes, that's going to look really good. So. Yeah. Is it chunky from the top? No, you've got loads of space. Not really. You've got loads yeah. of space in there to add things. It's yeah, I mean, some of the ephemera it. on this page has got some dimension to it because they added some foam tape. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's going to go really well together. So. Yeah, lots of pockets and tabs and pull out things. It's that's nice. it. Yes. Yeah, all hidden away. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so um, this was what my bag, what my 
album <coughs> like before I put, popped it together. It's made just from simple bags. Have you got your any spare bags there? Yes, I do. Yeah, so we made these out these bags. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? <laughs> I know. So I've started my front cover and I've got the fabric paper here. Then each page is made from the bag and I've created the pocket just in here. And then we have pull out areas there in each one. So there's loads of room in here for your journey. I love those pull out um mats. Yeah, they're, they're, lo they're lots of fun, aren't they? I yeah. Need to do another one of these on its side. So the um the pull outs come out the other way. Just need to yeah. Up to get this in the right place there we go and just flick through i'm using the big rings pocket page on each one i've kept it plain as well there just so that i can stamp on it and things like that and then i've just temporarily popped this here as well while i decide what i'm going to do with that side and i've got all of these goodies inside this pocket so it's perfect for journaling and you can stamp on them add your photos pop those back in there and I've decorated with the ephemera as well I've got another insert in there as well so yeah this is going to be a lot of fun so if I get loads of uh, summer photos I think that's going to be absolutely perfect for mm. these summer birthdays and and things like that I've kept it all bright and I've tried to match everything to the colors in the papers and again big pockets lots of you pockets could... in this you could use the uh, ornate waterfall die set and the photo frame flip and tuck die set to the yours as well, yes, can't you? Yes, yes. So this is for slightly, more areas. Yes, slightly, slightly bigger than the medium, so um, mm -hmm. it should be good for the large um, sets as well. So, yeah, definitely I'll be getting all those die sets out to see which ones mm. will fit in there. But yes, the ornate waterfall, the small and the large, should fit yeah. in there. And I don't even mind if it kind of sticks out the top a little bit because mm. it just adds to that bulk and interest and the extra look there. So that, that's yeah. what it looks like from the top. <laughs> it's a bit of a crocodile mouth, but I like that look. So yeah. Having all of these tabs sticking out is really enticing as well. It's really nice. So I think this is my favourite page so far. Yes. I love little, it's like a little goodie bag of things. So, yeah. Hidden treasures. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Gemma. She's really Thank you, Gemma. Well, so, yes. So, um, if you're on YouTube, everything that we're using today is listed in there. Uh, Vicky has also got on her um, social media, which is Crafty Heaven, um, all of her links there as well. And if you have any questions, just come to us individually on social media um, or in the... Um, the comment section if you're watching on the replay if you have any questions we'll do our best to answer those as well so yeah next week's going to be a bit of a funny one because it's easter week we have we actually have a bank holiday on monday so i don't think i'll be doing a live on there on monday but i may if i get the chance to uh, go live on the tuesday instead so um I'm not too sure what I'll be doing on that day. But, yeah, it'd be great to have Vicky back again for a paper craft challenge if you're up Oh, yeah, definitely. For another time. So if you have any challenges you want to send us, let us know anytime. Send us messages or pop in anywhere in the comments. So, no yeah. pressure. Yeah. <laughs> we could actually do a blind one as well where they people tell us what to do. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> doing that. So, yeah. <laughs> That will be a lot of fun. So it's also a bank holiday for us tomorrow as well for Good Friday. So I it think is. that's a good, a good uh, place now for us to go. Uh, it's now officially, I think, the Easter holidays for us now. So oh, yeah. I've got a couple of hours and then the Four twins hours. and be home. Yeah. Have a cup of tea, have a rest, and then maybe <laughs> for two and a half weeks. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've got the husband till Monday, well, Tuesday, oh, I think it is. Right and then yeah. uh yeah i've got two weeks with the yeah. four kids <laughs> well, and a dog as well. <laughs> yes and a dog yes <laughs> be a lot of fun right so i hope everyone has a lovely easter and yeah have a lovely off. time everyone have a lovely time if you have time off enjoy it relax hopefully the weather is nice at least you can get outside and smell the nice grass and things like that so the cut grass smells lovely this time of year 
I, I oh, really I love it. it. Yeah. All right. So All thank right. you everyone for joining us today. We've had a lot of fun. I hope you've had a good time, Vicky. I did. Thank you. Excellent, lovely, and we will see you both. We'll see you all later on. Bye. Yep. Bye, everyone.